join us in a retreat with Lama Lanang Rinpoche on the Heart Sutra, the Prajna Paramita, the essence of transcendent knowledge. Thus have I heard, once the Blessed One was dwelling in the royal domain of the Vulture Peak Mountain, together with a great gathering of monks and bodhisattvas. At that time, the Blessed One entered the Samadhi, which examines the dharmas called profound illumination. And at the same time, noble Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, looking at the profound practice of transcendent knowledge, saw the five skandhas and their natural emptiness. Then, through the inspiration of the Buddha, Shariputra said to Avalokiteshvara, how should those noble ones learn who wish to follow the profound practice of transcendent knowledge? And Avalokiteshvara answered, Shariputra, whoever wishes to follow the profound practice of transcendent knowledge should look at it like this, seeing the five skandhas and their natural emptiness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness itself is form. Emptiness is no other than form. Form is no other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, perception, concept, and consciousness are emptiness. Thus, all the dharmas are emptiness and have no characteristics. They are unborn and unceasing. They are not impure nor pure. They neither decrease nor increase. Therefore, since there is emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no perception, no concept, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no appearance, no sound, no smell, no taste, no sensation, no objects of mind, no quality of sight, no quality of hearing, no quality of smelling, no quality of tasting, no quality of sensing, no quality of thought, no quality of mind consciousness. There are no nidanas, from ignorance to old age and death, nor their wearing out. There is no suffering, no cause of suffering, no ending of suffering and no path, no wisdom, no attainment and no non-attainment. Therefore, since there is no attainment, the bodhisattvas abide by means of transcendent knowledge. And since there is no obscurity of mind, they have no fear. What is the value? of life. Until die, just get up, go to work, get up, go to work, 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 die. So what I'm saying is really, really truly wants to be learning the Dharma is you have to really understand it's impermanent. That sort of helps you sort of more put into the Dharma path, into the really put in the path of awakening, path of understanding. And otherwise, you never really get it, what's really I'm talking. So therefore, it's very important to, to meditate on impermanence. In transcendent knowledge, the mantra is proclaimed, Gate Gate, Para Gate, Para Sam Gate, Bodhisvatha, Kadyata, Om Gate Gate, Para Gate, Para Sam Gate, Bodhisvatha, Om Gate Gate, Para Gate, Para Sam Gate, Bodhisvatha. If you really true, Partitioner, you don't need anything to partition. No study, no need the temple, no need the monastery, nothing. You don't need it. Talking meditation, sleeping meditation, eating meditation, all the life is sort of used here for this to are uh, transformed to the Dharma. And so if you have this kind of motivation and this kind of dedication, you are no doubt, maybe in a maybe few lifetime, but you are automatically sort of are going to be rich enlightenment. When you reach enlightenment, that is the end of the samsara.
Yeah. One of the sacred places we do this performing. This is very sacred place done by the ocean. Also at this kind of ceremony, uh, which is we invite to the guests, which is uh, the, all the enlightened ones, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, all the uh, uh, first dentists and prime ministers and governors and, and uh, all the congress and uh, senators of the world who descend to love, light and wisdom their hearts. They open their hearts one day, they begin to more torrents and uh, come communication and get the peace to the our world and to the protection of the nature. And that is the wish. Blazing brilliantly, holding Vajra and Kapala, perfectly adorned with majestic ornaments and garments. Imagine form and wisdom are not separate. The form embodies all enlightened beings. Oh, my home. You guys put the offerings to the fire, okay? All the offerings to the fire. White and red bodhicitta are burnt substances blazing blissfully, yet non-substantially. Emptiness and compassion are burnt substances pervading the dimension of real existence, dhammadhatu. Within the phenomenal world, in the ground of the five Vajra lights of samsara and nirvana, we offer the burnt substances of spontaneously self-perfected and complete enlightenment. O Sheriputra, this is how a bodhisattva, mahasattva, should learn profound transcendent knowledge. Then the Blessed One arose from that samadhi and praised the bodhisattva, mahasattva, Avalokiteshvara, saying, Good, good, O oh son of noble family. Profound, transcendent knowledge should be practiced just as you have taught, and the Tathagatas will rejoice. When the Blessed One had said this, Shariputra and Avalokiteshvara, and that whole gathering, and the world with gods, men, Asuras, and Gandharvas, their hearts full of joy, praised the words of the Blessed One. Gate, gate, pera gate, pera sam gate, bodhisvaha. Gati gati, pera gati, pera sam gati, bodhisvaha. Gati gati, pera gati, pera sam gati, bodhisvaha. Gone, gone, gone totally beyond, gone to the other shore. Oh, give Sembah, the